podcasting in Logic Pro. Uh, this is a quick explanation of what tools you have available to you for your pointer, aka your mouse, when you're working in the arrange window here in Logic. Uh, anything that you're doing with audio regions is going to be controlled by the type of mouse cursor that you have highlighted. And we're going to be able to change a few of those things. First of all, let me pull a... Uh, let me pull just a random region of audio in here somewhere. Not even going to listen to it. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Okay, so first of all, make sure you obviously have the advanced, uh, all the advanced options selected. I cover that in a different video. But what we're looking for here is right in the middle, towards the top of the screen, and this is two menus for your cursor. So the first menu, this chooses what your normal cursor is going to do so pointer is the standard you have options like pencil you can draw automation uh, scissors tool you can splice audio regions cut them in half basically mute tool there's fades marquee etc etc so all of these are going to be explained in a different video but this is what your main pointer is going to do by itself now this other option here this is the same exact menu but this is going to be an additional option for when you hold command and click the pointer. So right now it's automatically selected to be the marquee tool. So if I hold command, my pointer turns into the marquee. And then this is used for a bunch of different things. Mainly what I do f use it for is to highlight particular parts of audio, get rid of them. So, and again, you can change this to whatever you want. So that way when you hold command without having to go to this menu and change it, you hold command and you have this other option available to you. So those are the two ways to use your cursors in Logic.